Today I'd like to continue our conversation about plotting body plots, but with two specific things in mind, high and low pass filters. So here is pretty much the simplest low pass RC filter you can have, which is RC. And the way I find it is I just use voltage division. I take the impedance of the capacitor and divide it by the sum of these two impedances. Um, what you might not be used to is finding this term omega C equals RC. This is going to be the corner frequency on the Bode plot and it's really important. And so when you take away the, the RC and substitute it with WC, you can actually make your Bode plots a lot quicker. Here we just have added a buffer right which uh, we probably got memorized by now and it the output is the same but this is for an idealized op amp we will see later on in the class that there's some poles inside this op amp that will cause some interesting high frequency behavior in the body plot and then here we have a non-inverting gain stage we just have that same RC low pass filter times the gain and there we go so let's plot one and there's really two ways to plot. That simple RC low pass filter, you will do so much that you'll probably just have it memorized. And that because there, uh, if there is no gain, or it's a gain of one, you're gonna have zero dB up until a critical frequency, and then you have a minus 20 dB per decade roll off. And then the phase will be zero up into a 10th of the cutoff frequency, minus 45 degrees at the cutoff frequency, and minus 90 degrees for frequencies greater than 10 times the cutoff frequency. But um, sometimes you have to plot things uh, that are more complex than that. So let's, let's do a more generic procedure. So we just break things up into the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is just omega c, and we just take 20 log omega c, which is a line with a 20 dB constant value. There's no imaginary part, so the phase is just zero degrees. The denominator is omega squared plus omega c squared. That's the magnitude function. And it has a gain at s equals zero, right? If s is zero, this is zero, of just 20 log omega c. And then we're just plotting this as if it were a zero. So there's a line that goes up to omega c with a 20 dB in this case. Um, and then it'll go up with a slope of 20 dB per decade. And in this case, the denominator starts off at 0 and then goes to 90 degrees phase. So yeah, 1 over ds this is what it is. We'll go from 0 to minus 90. So we just subtract the magnitude of the denominator from the magnitude of the numerator, right? Because that's how we manipulate logs. And we'll get the final magnitude of the Bode plot. So the constant value of the numerator is the blue line. And it's 20 log omega c. And in this case, omega is 10 radians per second. Then we have the magnitude of the denominator and we're plotting this and it's 20 dB then at the critical frequency 10 radians per second we go up 20 dB per decade and then to get the final magnitude plot we subtract the denominator or the poles from the numerator there's no zeros it's just constant and here is our low pass Bode plot with a critical frequency at 10 radians per second, 0 dB, and then we have a 20 dB roll off. Phase is much the same way. The numerator has 0 phase because it's just a constant real number. The denominator when plotted just as the denominator goes from 0 to plus 90 so that when we subtract this line 
the phase of the denominator from the phase of the numerator, we get our 0 to minus 90 phase plot. Let's look at the high pass filter. We just switch these impedances and we get um, S divided by S plus omega C. Now, if we want to see what's going to happen at high frequencies, we just let S get really big. And when S is a lot bigger than omega C, the S is cancel. And so in this case, there will be uh, 0 dB gain. Here, when we let S get a lot bigger than the cutoff frequency, the S's will cancel, and that will be our high frequency gain. And again, you can just look at it and say, that's a high pass filter. It'll have a 20 dB slope until the critical frequency, and then the magnitude will be constant. And the example we're doing is um, a gain of 1 or 0 dB. All right. The phase will be 90, then 45, and then 0. So we can also break this up. So before we had 20 log omega C, now we have 20 log omega. And where does that come from? Well, if I take the square root of omega squared, right, it's going to be omega. There's no real part, so that's why that's just left there. So this is a line with 20 dB per decade. All right, there's no real part, so the phase is 90. So this has a slope. The bottom part is the same as the low pass filter. So we just subtract the magnitudes and the phases from each other and we'll get the same plot. So in the low pass filter we had the numerator, uh, excuse me, the denominator just was a constant. Now we have a zero at zero. We have a line with constant 20 dB slope. The denominator is the same and we subtract orange from blue we get gray and there's our high pass filter critical frequency 10 radians per second high frequency gain 0 dB and we have 20 dB per decade increase the phase the numerator has plus 90 phase the phase of the denominator follows that same pattern but now we're subtracting the denominator rather than we're subtracting it from zero we're subtracting it from 90 and so gray goes from 90 down to zero critical frequency is my uh, is 45 1 tenth 90 greater than uh, 10 the critical frequency the phase is zero so this is the generic procedure is we plot the magnitude and phase of each zero separately plot the magnitude and phase of each pole separately but again um, on the the pole we're we're treating just ds so it looks like you're plotting zeros meaning everything has a positive slope then once you've done all that you subtract the phase of the poles from the phase of the zeros subtract the magnitudes of the poles from the magnitudes of the zeros um, and if there's a gain, that kind of acts just like another constant signal, and which you know raises or lowers it, and you add zero phase. So in this example, all right, we've got one zero at minus one, one pole at minus ten, one pole at a hundred. So we're going to plot the one k, s plus one, s plus ten, s plus a hundred magnitude and phase. And then we're just going to add it all together. So the magnitude of 1k is 60 dB constant. The magnitude of s plus 1 is hard to see because it's behind our other lines. But it goes up to 1 and then continues on. The magnitude of s plus 10 is gray at 10 then it goes up by 20 magnitude of s plus 100 
right? It starts at 40 and then goes up by 20. Then you add the magnitude of the 1K. You add the magnitude of S plus 1, which you can't quite see. And then subtract the yellow, which is S plus 100, and the gray, which is S plus 10. And then here is our final magnitude plot in blue. Phase, same way. The phase of 1K, it's a constant, so it's just 0. It's a real constant. The phase of S plus 1, right, it starts to change at 0.1, goes up to 90 at 10 times 0.1, and then continues. Same with the phase S plus 10, and you can see they're all kind of parallel. And we add this phase plus S plus 1, and then subtract these two phases, and we get our phase. That is the generic procedure. What I haven't gone over is complex roots, which um, add a certain level of difficulty, so we'll just keep it simple for now.